The European project Nano Restart focuses on nanotechnologies and contemporary art. Contemporary art is a major challenge for conservators, since there is a lack of established conservation methodologies that can tackle the fast degradation of materials used by modern and contemporary artists. The NanoStart project focuses on the synthesis of novel functional nanomaterials and on the development of highly innovative restoration techniques to address the conservation of a wide variety of materials. The NanoStart project is articulated into eight work packages that cover 42 months and is coordinated by the CSGI of the University of Florence. The main conservation challenges that will be addressed during the project are the cleaning of contemporary painted and plastic surfaces, stabilization of canvases and painted layers in contemporary art, the removal of unwanted modern material, the enhanced protection of artworks in museum and outdoors. The consortium of the NanoStart project is composed of 27 partners. Enterprises and academic centers have joined forces with conservation institutions and freelance restorers. This multidisciplinary approach will cover the development of different materials in response to real conservation needs, the testing of such materials, the assessment of their environmental impact and their industrial scalability. The valid product will be tested by conservators and restorers on representative case studies involving, among the selected works of art, outstanding masterpieces of modern and contemporary art, such as painting by Pollock or Picasso. After the assessment process, the products will be available on the market to end users. Several dissemination activities are organized by NanoRestart partners. Dissemination events may include practical courses, workshops and conferences. NanoStart partners are also going to show their work connected to the project in national and international conferences. Please visit NanoStart website to gather more information about the project and subscribe to the newsletter to be constantly updated about ongoing research activities and dissemination events.